Hello, tycooners, and happy release day. That's right, you heard it right. OpenRCT2 version 4.14 is out this week. Uh, there's some new features, some changes, some bug fixes. I'm gonna tell you about this update. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, I'll show you how to update your version of OpenRCT2 to the latest version. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm going to tell you about this new update. We're gonna explore together. I've actually never even done it yet. I haven't downloaded the new one yet, so we're gonna do it in this video together. I'm gonna show you um, how this game, Roller Coaster Tycoon, right? This game that you used to be able to get in a cereal box, um, how this game survives. 25 years later, it continues to update and get better with every single month that passes by. The Open RCT2 development team are incredible. And here's the new update. Let's do it right now. Let's quit wasting your time and get into it right now. I'm gonna share my screen actually. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here is the openrct2.org website. Um, we're gonna go to uh, change log, first of all, just to see what's new. So right now, here you go, 4.14 came out September 1st. These are all the new things that this, uh, this version has. So um, we've got a couple of cool new features here. I'm gonna leave this page open and we're gonna come back to it. At the top here, go to downloads. Uh, you might have been prompted to do this when you first opened up the game, but you might not. So I'm gonna take you to this page and show you how to do that if you're not prompted. There's a big orange button that says download. You can click on that if you're prompted through the game, but if not, again, come right here where it says releases. We're gonna go to 4.14, that's the newest download. Find your operating system. So right now I'm on a Mac. Uh, we're gonna go down here to Mac. You're going to open up this game here. Now, what I like to do is just keep my old ones here. Here's the first update I had on a Mac. Here's the second one, just to be able to reference them if, if needed. Um, but click on this here. And oh yeah, it does this annoying thing. Okay, we're gonna go into the settings. If you have a Mac, you'll have to do this. We're gonna go to security and privacy down to accessibility, wait a minute. Here it was, here it was. It just tells me right here, it recognizes that it was blocked. Open anyway. Use my finger, open, okay. Now we're good. And here is our change log. You can actually see right here, it tells you, which is really dang cool. Let's um, go into the game. Start a new park, let's just go Crazy Castle. All right, so let's take a look here. The cheats menu is, wow, this got a major facelift. This is cool. So it looks like the cheats are now organized um, into like more specific categories like money, date cheats, guest cheats, ignore prices. So I wonder if that, I wonder if this means, guess we'll ignore the price of rides and stalls. We've now got staff cheats, park cheats. So I like this though, each, each uh, section is a little smaller but they're organized better. Ride cheats, this is great. And then weather cheats, this is great. This is actually really cool, really, really cool update. The cheats menu um, being way more organized. I think this is awesome. It's, it's, you know exactly where to go now, you know. Ignore prices, I wanna try this here. So let me do, let's do a Ferris wheel. Now let's open it. 20 bucks for Ferris wheel. Oh, someone's on it. How much did that guy pay? Two guys in line. Wait, they spent, they paid $20 for a Ferris wheel? Cash spent, $20, cash spent, $20, what? Guests ignore prices. Guests will ignore the price of rises. Does that mean they'll, they'll, they'll spend however much it is? Like they won't have a preference? You know how they say, I'm not paying that much for this. How about information kiosk? People used to not pay 20 bucks for a park map. Two park maps sold. Yeah. The, par <laughs> the park map is really good value. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Oh my goodness, we're gonna be able to make so much money. This is amazing. Okay, this is an amazing new cheat. So it's not that they ignore, I guess what, what this means is that they ignore, they don't care how much it costs. They're gonna buy, buy it. Um, that's so funny. Let me try a bathroom. Let's turn everybody, let's make everybody max toilet. Oh, somebody went toilet. Somebody went toilet. Somebody went to the toilet. <laughs> wow, look at this. They're paying 20 bucks to go pee. Oh, this is so great. This is a fun cheat. This is a very fun cheat. Wow, okay. I very much I very much like this. Let's go back to the change log. So we had ignore price limit. That's great. Um Allow using different types of park entrance in one park. I'm not sure if that's in the scenario editor. It's gotta be. Uh, let me go scenario editor. Let's go landscape. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. I do remember that being kind of annoying in the past. You couldn't, you couldn't do that. So this is yeah, this is this is cool. You can have more. Um, I like that. Interesting idea. I think it's cool. Removing all park fences from the cheats window. Let's go back and look at that. I love this new addition to cheats. This is really cool. Uh, park cheats. On all land, remove park fences. Is that the border? Remove all fences from the park. What does this mean with land? Like, do I have to own all land? Do I gotta press this? Expands the park's land rights all the way to the edges of the map. Can I build a ride out here? Okay, so you still have to own the land. Maybe that's like aesthetically, like, you know what I mean, for looks. Like, this is pretty cool. You still don't own that land, but the, the fence is just invisible. Randomized train or vehicle color. <clears throat> let's try that. Let's do what's like the smallest possible roller coaster. Beep boop, mutant mouse. Here in the paint, different colors per car. Randomize all. That's pretty fun. So if you do different colors per car, probably different colors per train as well has the randomize. So it's like whatever color I want, you know what I mean? Oh, that's cool. You can press it a bunch of times until you get one you like. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I hate picking colors sometimes. I just want it to be picked for me. Finance graphs can be resized. Ooh, I think I know what this is. This is probably when you're doing um, this here. Yeah, now you can drag. I think this wasn't a thing before. Now you can kind of resize it. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is cool. You can see, is this new? Or you can actually look at the specific numbers. That is really cool. I like that a lot. For each each um, week, I guess. April week one, April week two, April week three, April week four, May week one. Okay, so weekly you get a number. I don't know if that's new or not, but that's very cool. Um, okay, that's cool. What's What else do we have? Feature, footpath placement now respects the construction modifier keys. Ooh, so I think that means that you can, oh, you can raise footpath. I think that's new, right? Is that what I was talking about? That is pretty cool. I don't think that used to be done this way. Uh, shift, you can't do, I guess you could just do this to like do a long path. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You can use shift now to raise the, the keyboard. Or I mean, to raise the footpath. That's cool. Um, what else do we have? Uh, let's go back to our change log. Expose ride vehicles spin to the plugin API. I'm not sure what that means. If you know, please tell me in the comments. <laughs> Clear scenery tool now uses a bulldozer instead of a generic crosshair. We can do that real quick. Let me go quit scenario editor. Let's just go to a random park. 
Yeah, the little bulldoze icon. That's pretty cool. Now I don't remember, like, was it a, was it, is this what this means? Was that a cursor before? But look, it's a little, little bulldoze icon. That's pretty cool. Just little, little small things that enhance the game. I think that's really awesome. The tool to change land and construction rights has been moved out of the map window. The tool to change land and construction rights has been moved. I'm not sure. The map window is here. I think. But I thought I thought that the way you did land and construction rights was. Uh, uh, see, I don't even remember. Used to be here, right? Oh yeah. Well, I thought there was a thing here. I, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember at all, guys. <laughs> um. But this is cool. There's there's lots more things, and I'm gonna again. I'm not gonna go into every single thing here. Lots of bug fixes, which is cool. Um. So like, really good number of things that were previously broken that are now fixed. So this is a really cool update, and. Um, you know, it's it's nothing major, but it's like small things, right? Small changes to the game. That's what we're looking for. Um, and every once in a while, there's a big one, right? But right now, it's uh, just kind of tweaking things, enhancing things, making things better slowly one month after the other. So overall, I think this is a great update. Um, and I encourage you to get it. You know, I've done it before where I've played the game for months and I, for, I forget to update or I don't want to update, but there's little things, again, there's these little big things that are enhancing the game that um, you may not notice necessarily, but they do make the game better overall. So um, I couldn't encourage you enough to get OpenRCT2. If you're still playing Roller Coaster Tycoon from Steam or whatever, um, you could be living your best life now if you would get OpenRCT2. And I've got a video, I'm actually gonna link it here um, that's going to show you all about how to get OpenRCT2 connected um, and get these updates. So how to get your game connected to this open source game where you're getting these updates pushed out and these bug fixes and new features and all that awesome stuff. So click on this video and watch that right this second and I will see you later.